Now picture this. You're a cowboy out riding in the desert, laying barbed wire fencing or chasing a stray calf, when suddenly you come across the last thing you'd expect to find. A doorway, right smack in the middle of nowhere. What the heck is it? A portal to another universe? A gateway to another dimension? Or even another time? Or is it a doorway to something else altogether? An entryway to heaven or hell? Now the real question is, would you be brave enough to walk through that door? Or would you hightail the hell out of there before someone, or something, steps through it from that other place? That's the bizarre dilemma that confronts the residents of the small and historic town of Lordsburg, New Mexico. You might think it's all just a lot of hogwash, one of those tall tales of the West that people like to tell. And I suppose you might be right, but what you really need to ask yourself is whether you can afford to be wrong. I mean, just think of the possibilities. A real deal, genuine doorway to another time or place, conveniently located next to an old stop on the Southern Pacific Railroad and a current Amtrak station. If by station you mean a makeshift metal shack. If you speak to longtime Lordsburg residents, they'll tell you that the Lordsburg door not only exists, but from time to time it has a tendency to produce some of the strangest phenomena you're ever likely to see in the land of enchantment. And I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill type stuff either. I'm talking about the sorts of phenomena that make your hair stand on end, the kinds of things that make you question your own sanity. Forget cowboys and aliens. This is cowboys and aliens and pterodactyls and time travel and cattle abductions and ghosts of Geronimo and just about everything else your imagination can supply. In other words, the Lordsburg door is the real deal. Now Lordsburg is, in case you didn't know, a classic Old West town located in New Mexico's remote and rugged boot heel. It was founded in 1880 as a stop on the Southern Pacific Railroad and it has more than its fair share of colorful frontier history. It's the sort of place where you can imagine a stoic John Wayne knocking some sense into the locals, or Clint Eastwood's cigarello-smoking, poncho-wearing man with no name riding into town to collect a bounty or two. There's even a legend, unsurprisingly, that Billy the Kid spent some time in the vicinity, washing dishes no less in the Stratford Hotel in the nearby ghost town of Shakespeare. So just what the heck is the Lordsburg door? That's where things start to get mysterious, and opinions start to diverge. Most of what we know about the Lordsburg door is derived from the pioneering work of writers Mike Smith and Rob Feitner, who wrote about the door in the pages of My Strange New Mexico in the 2000s. Feitner was even told about a local man who belonged to the Islamic esoteric order of Sufism. This man knew where the door was located, but Feitner was never able to make contact with him. Later, after writing about his adventures on his blog, Feitner received this comment from an anonymous poster. I just talked to the Sufi about your story. He says it is the Lordsburg gate, not door. He says he will not show it to you, that you are not worthy. Too bad, because he says it's pretty cool. And that's a crying shame, because by all accounts the Lordsburg door really is pretty cool. There's a local ufologist named Ramon Ortiz, and he claims to know the door's precise location. He says you can find it in Gold Gulch, just north of town, near mile marker 17 on State Highway 90. He says the door is a fiery red color and looks like Moses' burning bush. And it gets even better. The door can only be opened with a peacefully made burnt offering, and it can only be closed with a sword. Even so, it tends to produce some strange phenomena from time to time. Everything from UFOs and prehistoric pterosaurs, to shadowy giants and the aforementioned ghost of legendary Apache warrior Geronimo. Some say there are also curious Egyptian-seeming artifacts that sometimes appear in the neighborhood of the door suggesting at least the possibility of time travelers from more recent periods of history. More recent, say, than the age of pterosaurs. Ramon Ortiz also swears that the Lordsburg door is but one of seven such portals throughout the Boot Heel region, including one in his own basement, and I have little reason to doubt him. He's determined that these are portals to heaven, perhaps through judicious experimentation of his own, and he's also learned that there are twelve other doors in the Boot Heel, blue-colored this time, which are gateways to hell. I'm not at all certain I want to know how he arrived at this information. He's pretty sure that these doors will also be opening up presently, and if you thought the Lordsburg door was a doozy, well, just you wait. So I guess that's about it for this episode. Whether it's a portal to heaven or hell, a gateway to another universe or dimension, or just a good old-fashioned doorway to another time, past or future, the Lordsburg door is a shimmering question mark in the lonely, remote southwestern desert of New Mexico. 
So if anyone watching this has had an experience with the Lordsburg door, or any of the other doorways in New Mexico's boot heel region, or just has anything else to add about interdimensional or transtemporal doorways in general, please don't hesitate to leave a comment or two and tell us all about it. Thank you.